Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make an updated version of the Middleino extender. Now, it's something that I've been doing for a long time, this improved version that I keep coming up with that I want to share with you. So many ways that you can use it for, for support, for adding linear element, adding a little flash of color into a design. It's a, a, a good trellising. Uh, it's really a very vital part of my designing component. So I call it Middleino Extender because the main ingredients are the Smithers Oasis Middleino sticks. And I usually uh, choose the natural, but it uh, just because I, I really like that color a lot, but really it doesn't really matter what color they are because you may end up covering the color. But anyway, the Middleino sticks are a very important part accompanied by aluminum wire and again I mentioned that it doesn't matter what color especially if you're going to cover it up with some color uh, whether it's yarn or raffia or what have you and then I usually need uh, also the bullion wire and I almost always use silver because it disappears into the construction and then you also need the U-glue dashes uh, of which I, I actually have to have this it's an indispensable part of my just my design repertoire it just comes in handy all the time <clears throat> so with those four ingredients i'm going to go ahead and start um, the purpose of the middleino extender is like i say for it to be a very malleable very a soft and fluid part of my design because my focus on a lot of my design is line work and of course when you look at nature line is such an important part the trees the branches everything has a main stem and from which uh, the flowers the the uh, thinner branches come out so it just becomes part of the makeup of the the structure of the design so i'm going to take let's see one two three four five six seven let's just go with seven it really doesn't matter exactly how many pieces it just makes the final finish either a little bit longer if you have more pieces or it also makes it thicker in the middle if you have more pieces so depending on the on the thickness or the girth of the extender that you want you're going to just go with a count so i'm going to go with one two three four five six seven so as i kind of uh, put them together and hold it in the middle i am going to actually pull this so that i can get the extension that are staggered like this so you can see the longest little bit shorter 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 and then I'm going to push these back so that's shorter this is shorter still and this is much shorter so what that's the reason why I call it extender because I'm taking a bundle of a set length of middleino but I'm able to extend it and make them longer by pulling it out like this in a graduated manner so what I'm going to do first is take one of these U glue dash and I'm going to just pull that together so that it holds it in the middle. And now I'm going to set that down and I'm going to go ahead and take aluminum wire. In this case, I'm using kind of a, a bronze color. Uh, it just happens to be something that I had, the color that I had. I'm not really caring what color it, it is because I'm going to end up covering this whole thing with either wool or, or raffia to finish. So I'm going to take it so that it's a little bit longer on that end so that it finishes off with the aluminum wire as the longest piece on both ends. So I cut, cut it so that when I hold it, it's longer on that end and also again, it's longest with aluminum wire. So now what I'm going to do is take this, the U-glue dash and get the sticky side out and I'm going to embed that in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is to prepare ahead of time, I'm going to take the U-glue dashes and have them cut into halves because the additional adhesion to the, the structure is going to be done with the halved U-glue dashes. That's all you need. You don't need a full tab. So next what I'm going to do is take the aluminum wire or wait a minute. No, it's bullion wire. Sorry. And I'm going to start out by attaching it to that spot where there's a little bit of U-glue dash there. 
And then I'm going to just wrap that tightly around like this so that it wraps the whole thing together. Now, it is possible for you to use just a mitolino with an aluminum wire. In this case, if I was going to use the aluminum wire that is, uh, wait a minute, the mitolino that is the natural color. Uh, and if I'm going to just do it with the mitolino and the aluminum wire, I might want to keep it maybe just with a silver aluminum wire so that you would have this to use just as it is without covering it up. Now I'm going back to where I started in the middle. It'll attach itself to that U-glue dash that's right there. But I'm going to continue on and I'm just going to just wrap it as quick as possible. Now, as far as the value of these Mitalino extender, it really has a lot of different purposes. I like to have a lot of, of them already on hand, whether it's just wrapped up like this, the Mitalino and the aluminum wire, or finished with the covering of raffia or what have you. But what I like to do is take a whole bundle of Mitalino and make it all into these extenders so that they're ready to use. So here it is. That's really the gist of Mitalino extender. What that does is it allows you to bend, curve, to get all kinds of interesting shapes out of it. You attach with bind wire, etc. But you can see that this left me kind of feeling like something was not quite finished. That it seemed that raw mechanics of just Mitalino aluminum wire and the bullion wire seemed like it was so exposed. And so this is why I started to do some other things. So the first thing I'm going to do is to use actually yarn. So with yarn, you can add an extra color element. Also what yarn does is it gives you a really a wonderful gluing surface because uh, Oasis uh, glue, the cold glue is so good for gluing um, to, to yarn. So I want to just take this wild color yarn. This is certainly a way to add a little bit of color into your arrangement. And also at the same time give you some structure in that arrangement. So I'm going to start out by just wrapping it like this to get it started. I love this particular yarn because it transitions from one color to the other in this real hot color combination. So what I'm going to do is as I get to one of the, the, the second set, of the U-glue half dash. What I'm gonna do to make this go a little bit faster is I'm gonna triple it up. So what I'm gonna do is take this and attach it to that little bit of U-glue so that now I'm wrapping with three, three ply of yarn. In doing so, it just goes a lot faster and I'm just kind of cranking it. Basically, if you just curve it a little bit, it gives you the ability to crank and so it goes a lot faster. The reason why I think the success of what I call this Mitalino extender is that instead of just using wire alone as the curvilinear piece in your design, first of all, it gives it just a one sort of quality, the metallic quality, it's, it's a little raw, and it doesn't have any other sort of extra perk in, in the sort of the final composition with the, the addition of yarn or, as I say, it could also be um, raffia, so if you want the real natural look. Or it could be just simply other colored yarn, so that it gives you uh, a, 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 an opportunity to coordinate to the color of your design. But what is good about it is when you use Mitalino alongside the aluminum wire, that's really the key, is that you can um, actually this component makes it possible for very curvilinear and not kinky wire design. With this Mitalino extender, because it's dependent on the support of the Mitalino alongside the metallic wire or the aluminum wire, it never kinks up. It always has a very curvilinear finish. You can see that, that you can't kink it up. You can bend it but you never get that kinky kind of a look. So I'm getting very close to finish. We're just winding down to the, towards the end. So what I'm gonna do, it, just to close this off, is I'm gonna take 
you know, this is where the three ply kind of ended and I'm going to take another half tab of U glue, attach it there that holds it in place. And then I'm going to take another piece of U glue half dash and put it at the very top like that. And then I'm going to just go run it right to the top and then start wrapping up that tip, which has got the sticky U glue on it. And then I'm going to work my way down. It's really actually pretty fast and easy to do the, the single ply just at the very end because you're not having to navigate around any length at all. So I'm there. What I'm going to do is cut this right there. Take the, uh, the uh, bullion wire and use that as sort of the finisher just to clean it up a little bit. The end, I'm just going to do that and then just break it off. So this is really sort of the end of it right there. But you can see how it becomes. It's kind of fun. This could be kind of fun with like combination of red and white for like a candy cane effect. It's, it's kind of really a fun piece. So this is really basically what a middle lino extender is uh, finished off with, with, with yarn. But you can see how it bends beautifully, adds beautiful color, great texture, and great gluing surface. So I'm going to show you a couple of easy ways to create um, some structures uh, to, to your design using this middle lino extender. First, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of vine wire and twist it like that. And let's just push, pull it a little bit tighter on there so it stays on that cylinder. And then I'm going to bring this into it a little bit because that helps make it stay in place. And I'll also just tie, you just tie in convenient places. So you just kind of get kind of fun and creative. That's the best part of this is that not, not any two would be alike. So you can imagine thinking of like some real hot colored dahlias or ranunculus or something that might tie into this, this, this uh, composition. Maybe I start with, wait a minute, let's put this one here so it stays really nice, nicely on the top, sits nicely on the top. So that's one full extender that's been added. What we're going to do is add in another one. So this, it's, it's usually going to take two extenders to create something that's fun. So maybe this one, I'm going to go down a little bit more so that it's inside the container. It's really got that beautiful wire inside there with the middle lino, so it stays nice and soft and sinuous. And, and the more you tie, the more sturdy the structure becomes. So you can see that that could be really a nice start of a really a funky design. Just have to clip off these, these bind wire end, end, ends and fill it with water and start designing with flowers. So the second option is something a little bit more organic. This one here is actually a couple of um, middle lane no extenders that's been covered with raffia so that it's got a very natural look attached to a a syndicate sales, Holly's um, little eggs, uh, actually they're the six inch eggs. And so into this, I can then start to design a bouquet. What the purpose of this is it gives you a nice cascading look. It gives you a trellis for your material like your vines and that to follow. And so uh, it basically gives you a template for the final feel of this design. So for the last example, I want to bring on the one of the structures that I had built for the Vertical Nouveau. And what it is, of course, is a cylinder with the, the wire mesh. And then on the surface of this, because you have the wire mesh, you have ability to tie into that wire mesh that's underneath the, the boza, the, the paper. And so it gives you a really a wonderful sort of an Art Nouveau feel, curvilinear lines that then the flowers could thread through. These are the three ways to start with that you could then start to get creative with the Medellino extender.
Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you are able to incorporate this into some of your own work. I think it's really a real winner. It has been for me. So if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this lesson, uh, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.